Welcome back. Welcome back to the All Things Real Estate Show with the Bald Brothers team at Impact Properties. I am Aaron Zapata. And we like to giggle through our intro. We do, we do. Because you know what? Sometimes life is just funny. And we have a great show for you guys today. First of all, we want to thank you for coming back. Like I said, I'm your I'm one of your co-hosts, Aaron Zapata. My license number is 0135-6534. And I am the other co-host, Todd Anderson, license 0207-7325. And our broker's license for impact property is 0192-2671. We do legally have to get that out of the way. We also need to legally tell you that we are not your real estate advisors. Because you are not likely our client, but we would like you to be, of course. We would love you to be our clients. And how can they do that? They can call us at 833-305-BALD. That's 833-305-BALD. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You know what else is 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Online. Online. Baldbrothers.tv. Baldbrothers.tv. You go there, you can get all of our links, all of our social media contacts, how to get a hold of us. That's right. And we serve all of Southern California. So Todd, what do we have in store for today? Well, you know, today we're going to talk about a topic that just won't go away. It's the fact that people are leaving California. We want to talk about Californians leaving and some of the reasons why. Now, in a previous episode, we talked about businesses leaving California, but let's talk about individuals, families, individuals moving out of California, where they're going and what, that, what the ramifications has for our state and for other states as well. That's right. And we're also going to talk about the tax implications. Mm-hmm. And not just California, but there are other states experiencing this. So let's get right into it, Todd. But before we do that, let me just share a story. Okay. So I have worked in the real estate industry for now over 20 years. And I have had lots and lots of clients leave California. So you are at least 20 years old. That's right. And this is not a new concept. (laughs) It's not new. The fact that people move from one state to another. In fact, Todd, you are not from California. I'm not from California. I'm originally from Minnesota. Don't you know? Don't you know? I did not know that. All the Swedes (laughs) are from. Yeah, sure. You betcha. And uh, I moved. My parents were missionaries. We moved to Okinawa, Japan. I lived there. Uh, growing up, and then when I was a teenager, moved to Arizona, hmm. and then moved out to California from Arizona. So I've been a little little bit all over the place. So you moved to California, not away from California. Not away from California. I'm born and raised California, but I've seen a lot of people leave. Mm-hmm. And so about six, actually probably eight years ago, I had a client, and they moved to Tennessee. And so no big deal. Moved to Tennessee. This was before it was popular Mm -hmm. to leave California. It wasn't Mm -hmm. like this was long before COVID, long before the lockdowns. And he moved out there. And he then called me about five years ago and said, hey, you know, I'd like to get into real estate. Can we work together? And so I went through the process of getting licensed in Tennessee as a broker. And we opened an office in downtown Franklin. Mm -hmm. And we started a Facebook group. This was like five years ago, right? We started a Facebook group and we had 37 people that we invited to this group. All right. Californians moving to Tennessee. Now that group has over 14,000 people in it. (laughs) We have dozens of posts every week. And and how many years did you go from 37 to 14? It actually took about three years. Three years. Yeah. Yeah. From the time we set it up, I said five years. It was actually about three years ago. We set it up and it's now over 14,000 people. It's a community of people, mm-hmm. people that, that you know, feel called to go there, mm-hmm. people that are asking advice about going there, and they just want to know, mm-hmm. you know, is this the right place to go? What kind of questions do we have? And so this is not a new thing uh, in terms of people wanting to leave, but the amount of people that are now mm-hmm. moving yeah. is, is tremendously more yeah. than it ever was. Yeah, it's amazing. So if you're thinking about leaving California, Todd and I, we... We do have a lot of help with people doing that, uh, whether it be Idaho, Tennessee, Florida. Yeah, we've got people moving to today. Florida. That's, that's, it's, it's a long ways away from California, but we have a lot of Californians moving to Florida. Yes, we do. So let's talk about the first article. We like to you know, scour the news, find things that are happening uh, so that we can bring that information to you. If, you've, if you're not reading the news, no big deal. We have got some great headlines for you. 
and we want to talk about that today. So the first one we're going to talk about, Todd, is these high income earners that are leaving California. Yeah, this is an interesting article. It says that California ranks number one. Number the, one. The we're num- number one. We are number one. Number one. We are the number one state uh, of wealthy Americans. Uh, we are the, excuse me. We are the number one state that wealthy Americans are moving away from. Okay, not the number <laughs> one that California wants to be known for. We are the number one that uh, wealthy Americans are moving away from. So uh, that seems to be pretty obvious why wealthy Californians would be moving out of California. That really comes down to taxes, right? It does. Not Texas, taxes. That's right. <laughs> uh, and it's just back. The, the vowels are backwards. <laughs> yeah. Um, so if you are in California and you're one of these high net worth income earners, you are likely paying anywhere from 24 to 33% of mm-hmm. your gross income. Mm-hmm. In taxes, that's a big chunk between state and federal. Yeah, yeah. You know, and there's different brackets, and we're not CPAs, we're not tax specialists, and I'm sure there's other ways to you know, figure things out with mm-hmm. your accountant. Mm-hmm. And we encourage you to go do that. Mm-hmm. But we do know that at some point, if you are paying significant amounts of money, mm-hmm. leaving California is a big, big deal. Yeah, this article is very interesting because it it puts a number on the negative tax income migration. So the tax revenue that's leaving California, California tops the list at negative $343.2 million in negative tax income. Say that number again. That's a big number. $343.2 million. It's more than I can count on my fingers. (laughs) Uh, So second on the list is New York. So, and New York comes in at at, uh, negative $299.6 million. And then it drops from there to Illinois. But California leads the top of that list. And one would think that by increasing, I mean, the the thought is you increase tax revenue, you're going to have more taxes. Well, not if people leave California. And, And that's the issue that's happening. Now, you had mentioned before we started the show, that uh, I perhaps it was in this uh, Facebook group, but there's always someone who says this is fake news, that people oh, yeah. aren't really leaving California, oh, yeah. right? Yeah, I post articles on my LinkedIn profile, and, and it's just companies leaving. Companies have announced that they're leaving. They're taking jobs with them, and it's a real deal. I mean, it's happening all the time. And so it seemed like every time I posted, mm-hmm. somebody – would say, you know, that's fake news. Mm-hmm. California is a huge economy. Mm-hmm. It's strong, robust economy. And therefore, it's not possible that more people are leaving than are, are you know, are coming. Mm-hmm. And, and we're growing. We're, mm-hmm. we're, we're amazing. And I would be like, oh, okay. I know you're reading a certain news feed mm-hmm. all the time. I'm reading everything that I can get my hands on, whether mm-hmm. it be conservative or liberal. It doesn't matter. I'm trying to read everything, get a good picture and so I would always have to debate people mm-hmm. and it ended up driving crazy. So but, I blocked you, but you know, the truth is California does have a massive economy. We have it a does. massive economy here. It does. But two things can be true at the same time. Can we be. can have a massive economy and also ha- lead the nation in people that are leaving the state. Uh, right. Both things can be true at the same time. Absolutely right. And over time, if that continues to happen, ultimately the trickle-down effect is that the middle class is going to essentially be eliminated Mm -hmm. because the upper class is going to be moving away if they can. Mm -hmm. And then the, it's going to be left with mid to lower class who are, you know, not paying the, the, the highest taxes. In fact, there was a, uh, there was a comment that Newsom made Mm -hmm. uh, our governor and it was a real ambiguous response, but he basically said, like, who's paying all the taxes in California? And it turns out, if you decipher what he said, it was like the top 1% or even the one half of 1% mm-hmm. pay 50% of all the tax revenue Wow, in California. Mm-hmm. So if those are the people that are leaving. Those are the people that are leaving. It's yeah. having the biggest impact in the bottom line. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, Todd. Yes. If people are thinking about leaving California. Yep. What should they do? They should give us a call. 833-305-BALD. We are the Bald Brothers team. You can also find us online at baldbrothers.tv. 
baldbrothers.tv, and uh, we work primarily with sellers, and a lot of our sellers are leaving California. You don't have to leave California to work with the Bald Brothers team, uh, but we have a lot of our sellers that are actually in this bracket that are actually leaving California. That's right. So give us a call today if you're thinking about selling. Uh, you can start months and months and months in advance, and we would like to talk to you as early as possible in that process because we have strategies and things that we follow that will help you through that selling process to make sure you maximize your income on your sale mm -hmm. and also minimize hassle. You know, before we get to the next article, uh, I want to mention something else in this last article. Yes. Uh, we talked about the negative tax uh, of people leaving California and taking their tax revenue with them. But there's also a list in the same article on the states with the largest net positive tax income migration. So who's the winner? The winner. The winner. The, win the ones who get the most of the tax right. revenue. So they've opened the floodgates and they said, come to live here. That's right. And now they are winners. Florida, top list at $12.4 billion. Wow. And the next down on the list is Texas at $10.7 billion. Now, we have people that have moved to both of those states. So, so but let's, let's just talk about that before okay. we, we move on. Yeah. If California has no state income tax, I mean, has, has the huge, you know, state income mm -hmm. tax. Yeah. And then they move to a place with no state income tax. Yeah. Is it really the state that benefits? Or is it just the individual? Mm -hmm. Because yes, they brought in twelve billion dollars in increased tax, you know, filings, and mm -hmm. this is all through the IRS tax filings that mm -hmm. these these articles are pulling from. Yeah, but does it really benefit Florida to receive that person? Well, there's other forms of, of taxation that there are <laughs> that there are. the state receives. That's right. There's more than just income tax, state income tax, and right. so as business starts to flourish, as as people bring their revenue, bring their productivity to that state, mm -hmm. that state begins to flourish. They don't right. need the state income tax to they be They buy able more to. goods. They exactly. spend more money. Mm -hmm. they, their sales taxes and other kind of taxes exactly. uh, definitely go up. So, yeah. uh, Which, you know, in Texas has been an issue for people that have lived there for a long time. Mm -hmm. Now, in California, we've got Prop 13, which protects the amount of increase for your property taxes each year mm -hmm. based on a certain cap. Yep. So if if all of a sudden your neighborhood goes up in value by, let's say, 100%. It doubles mm -hmm. in one year. Uh, in here, in California, your property taxes barely go up, mm -hmm. 3%, I yeah. believe. Yeah. Now, in Texas, there's no Prop 13 equivalent. Mm -hmm. So if all the values in your neighborhood go up, mm -hmm. they double in a year, yeah. your property taxes from one year to the that's next right. could go up significantly. That's right. And that's, that's a right. huge like like issue right now. Mm -hmm for Texans. Yeah. And those are all things you have to consider when you're moving out of California, yeah. where you're moving to, what the, the tax implications are going to be there. You may be losing taxes in some area, but gaining in, in, in other areas as well. Yeah. So as wealthy incomers leave California, California politicians <laughs> have to figure out a way to replenish that income. Mm -hmm. And it's it's such a negative cycle, Todd. Yeah. And I mean, it's just like, it is, hey, yeah. let's tax higher, which gives more incentive for people to leave. And then they, so more people leave. And then they double down on taxes. Like, oh, we got to go back. We got to raise taxes yep. somewhere else, right? Yep. And we've talked about mansion tax in LA, which has mm -hmm. not produced the results that they were hoping. No. <laughs> uh, people just aren't selling, okay? So there's another article that came out in July, and it came out from Americans for tax reforms and links to these will all be in. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube or you're listening to it on the podcast, mm -hmm. uh, you guys, it'll be all over, be at uh, baldbrothers.tv. Mm -hmm. You can find these links to these articles in the show notes. Yeah. But there's this article that came out says billions in new taxes coming for California businesses mm -hmm. as legislators ignore massive unemployment insurance debt. Yeah. <laughs> so, there we go. They're doubling down, creating more taxes to to collect more revenue. And now they've got to go to businesses because the individuals are leaving. Yep. So tell us about this. Yeah, this is amazing. I'm just reading one portion of the article here. It says... Um, that uh, not wonderful news for the for businesses in the Golden State. Governor Newsom plans on adopting higher taxes to pay off the debt instead. And it talks about on top of regular unemployment taxes, California businesses will pay an additional 0.3% surcharge on their total federal tax 
liability. Uh, and, and so, yeah, you're just continuing to add on, add on, add on. And it's really, it's hitting businesses mm-hmm. primarily, which of course there's, I always talk about the trickle down effect. It's, it's, it hits the businesses, but it, it radiates beyond just that. It does. And, you know, California businesses, some of them are very profitable. They mm-hmm. can afford to pay this extra, what seems to be a small tax, mm-hmm. but does add up. And then that's what they know. If, if they're adding these little 0.3 here, 0.3 there, yeah. that eventually it's 1%, 2%. And, you know, a company that does a billion dollars worth of, of wages paid, mm-hmm. that's an additional burden mm-hmm. that they have to bear. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, death by a thousand cuts. Correct. Right. So a 0.3% increase. Uh, most people will say, I, I can handle that. I can, but it all adds up. And uh, till you have this galoth, <laughs> gargantuan, uh, problem that just continues to replicate itself. So I, I'm going to read from this article a little bit more. Currently, all California businesses pay, pay a flat state corporate tax rate of 8.84%, which is the seventh highest in the nation. Mm-hmm. Under the proposed plan, companies would instead pay a 6.63 on the first 1.5 million in earnings, right? But would also suffer a crippling 1.99% wow. rate on every other dollar above that that yeah. they make. Yeah. You know, you and I are both, are both business owners mm-hmm. and uh, my CPA says, you know, they, they say this is the this is the rate of tax that you pay as a corporation for the benefit, for the privilege of doing business in the state of California. Yes. The sad part about that statement, mm-hmm. there are a lot of benefits mm-hmm. to being in California. There are. And and as I read more and more articles and look at more and more information about this, Mm -hmm. those benefits, that equilibrium Mm -hmm. is quickly balancing out as other States attract young, talented workers Mm -hmm. with, you know, their technology and their experts in their fields, other clusters and and hubs around the nation Mm -hmm. are quickly catching up to the amount of talent that California has. Mm -hmm. And so it's becoming less and less, you know, Yes. Less and less of a of an incentive. Yeah, to be here. That's right. And if you're going to be taxed crazy, mm-hmm. people are going to leave. That's right. So, if, so so if they have questions about all of this, yeah, what can they do? You know, they should call us. They should call us. They Who are we? Us. We are the Bald Brothers team at Impact Properties, and we've got a great, easy to remember phone number. It's toll free eight three 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 zero five Bald. B-A-L-D. That's if you A-L-D. can spell bald, you can call us. That's right. <laughs> and so we want you to call us. And just so you're not armed, I mean, uh, not armed, just so you're not alarmed when you, I hope you have arms. <laughs> uh, so when you when you call us, it is a call center mm-hmm. and people will be able to, uh, we'll take your number and your name and the information that you want to give over, give to us. And that will be forwarded to us yep. so that we can respond. Yep. Also, you can reach us at baldbrothers.tv. That gives every link imaginable for how to get a hold of us. And uh, when we work with people, uh, we evaluate everything. We, we look at tax applications. We look at where you're going. Uh, we want to really walk you through the process of, of what it means to sell your home. In some cases, it might not be the best choice for you to sell. Uh, but we like to help kind of walk through in an educated manner to help you in making that decision. And we have told people. Now is not a good time to sell. Mm-hmm. You know, I met with a couple, a couple, I'll say about, about a year ago now, and they were asking me, and we were going through their whole scenario. Turns out, in his job, he had a couple more years, bef- like five years, before mm-hmm. he could retire. Mm-hmm. And to retire now would dramatically decrease their long term earning potential mm-hmm. by a lot. Yeah. And I said, Look, why are you trying to make this decision now? Are you planning to quit your job? Why? can't really afford to. So why is home selling necessarily on the table as one of the options? Mm-hmm. Let's just remove that. Mm-hmm. But California, I understand. <laughs> I understand. I get it. I get yeah, it. Yeah. But I think we're jumping the gun here for your family. Yeah. And so they hunkered down and they stayed and, and you know, the market value of their home went down for a little bit after that conversation. So, mm-hmm. you know, naturally as, as their advisor, because they're our clients, mm-hmm. I thought, did I give them bad advice? Yeah. But now the market's correcting prices are going back up and I don't feel bad about giving that decision at all. Yeah. And in fact, Todd, it helped them be more at peace mm-hmm. with everything. 
Yeah, you know, sometimes when you when you listen to shows like this or you 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 get some of these articles, the thought is every single person is leaving California, and that's not true. There is a large exodus of people leaving California, but just because it seems like everybody's leaving California doesn't necessarily mean it's the best option for you. So we're just discussing some of these things to let you know what the trends are. It doesn't necessarily mean that this is a call to arms leave California. Uh, we're just right. discussing all things real estate, and this is one of the very important hot topics of the day. That's right. But we do have clients that are leaving California. They are selling their investment properties mm -hmm. in California because they don't like the landlord laws and how they pertain to landlord-tenant relationships. And so they are repositioning their, their investment properties. We have people you know, selling commercial properties just so they can get a better return on their investment elsewhere. Mm -hmm. And so that's something that Todd and I really like to do. We like to sit down with clients, do a, a full portfolio analysis. And if your portfolio is one home, mm -hmm. that's awesome. Yeah. Congratulations. If you bought it five or more years ago, you are going to be in a great position mm -hmm. because um, prices have gone up. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, there is one more article. We'll link to our, in our show notes. I don't think we have a whole lot of time to talk about it. Uh, but not just California. There was an article that talked about New York also having a large mm. exodus. And this article says that New York saw an exodus of high earners, once again, getting back to the theme that we started the show with, of high earners leaving a state. New York saw a huge exodus of high earners, income earners, leaving the state during the pandemic. And uh, so that was interesting. There's a lot of parallels between New York and California. There are. And when we talk about high earners, we're talking about, according to these articles, most of them are kind of the threshold is about $200,000 in household income or more mm -hmm. per year. Mm -hmm. And so that's when generally talking about high income earners in the United States, it's really about the $200,000 mm -hmm. or more. And, you know, Todd, there are a lot of those in Southern California. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of them. It's not too hard, especially if you've got two incomes in the home. Mm -hmm. It's not too hard to get that point. And in many cases, one might feel like $200,000 is a minimum to survive out here in some areas. Yeah, yeah. In fact, I've got some videos on Instagram mm -hmm. where I kind of talk about that. In yeah. order to buy a home in, let's say, Irvine, mm -hmm. to buy the median home, you basically need to earn approximately $300,000 a year mm -hmm. to be able to pay for a payment at today's interest rates. Yeah. So as we uh, finish up here today, we want to uh, encourage you. If you are thinking about your home, mm -hmm. if you know somebody who's selling your home, one of the biggest questions we get in this last minute here mm -hmm. is Todd, Aaron, can we sell our house as is? <laughs> that is that is the question because you know we live in a culture that uh, l thrives off of HGTV and some of these programs that weren't around when you and I were kids, and so the 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 mindset that people have that you have to have this move in ready beautiful home state of the art in order to sell your home, and the fact is really you can sell a home in pretty much any condition. The question is uh, marketing and price. What are you willing to sell it for? Uh, and that's where if you call the Bald Brothers team at Bald Brothers or get, get a hold of us at baldbrothers.tv, call us at 833-305-BALD. Give us a call and we can talk through your very real scenario of what it would be like to sell your home as is. Sometimes selling it as is is what you need to do just to get out. That's right. And, and there are really only two mm -hmm. mandated requirements mm -hmm. in most of Southern California, in all of California. Your water heater must be strapped. That's right. And you must have <laughs> smoke detectors and a carbon monoxide carbon detector. Monoxide. Both say you know, all safety items. Now, yep. certain cities have other specifics for your specific area, mm -hmm. which we can talk about. But yes, you can sell your house as is. Yeah. And you know, we should uh, come back for another episode. Yep. We will come back to this topic. I think a lot of people want to know what it means to sell your home as is. Is it the best decision? And what's involved in doing all of that? That's right. So thanks for listening to us today. Anytime you spend time with the Bald Brothers team, we are honored that you would do that. Yep. If you found this helpful, we'd love for you to tell others about it. If you're watching this on our YouTube channel, like, subscribe, and come back. Come back for more information about all things real estate. I'm your host, Aaron Zapata. And I'm the other host, Todd Anderson. And we will talk to you next time. Thanks for listening to the All Things Real Estate Show. 
The Bald Brothers team is a licensed DBA of Impact Properties, Inc., licensed by the California Department of Real Estate, number 01922671. If you'd like to reach us, you can call us at 833-305-BALD, or you can reach us online at baldbrothers.tv.